Certainly, here's a gentle and soothing bedtime story titled The Dreamcatcher's Lullaby. Welcome to Short Stories Galore, the home of captivating short stories. Once upon a time, in a small cottage nestled at the edge of a tranquil forest, there lived a little girl named Lily. Lily had eyes as bright as the morning sun and a heart filled with wonder. She loved exploring the woods, chasing butterflies, and listening to the rustle of leaves in the breeze. Every evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, Lily's grandmother, whom she affectionately called Nana, would tell her stories. These were not just any stories. They were stories of magic, wonder, and dreams. Nana had a way of weaving tales that made Lily's heart dance with delight. One warm summer evening, as the fire crackled in the hearth and the stars began to twinkle in the night sky, Nana began a special story. Lily, my dear, she said in her gentle, soothing voice, Tonight, I shall tell you the tale of the Dreamcatcher's lullaby. Lily's eyes widened with anticipation as she settled into her favorite chair. Nana's voice was like a soft melody, a comforting embrace that wrapped around her heart. Long ago, Nana began, in a land where dreams held a magic all their own, there lived a young girl named Elara. Elara had a gift that set her apart from others. She could see the dreams that danced in the night sky, each one a star of its own. Lily listened with rapt attention as Nana continued, You see, my dear, in this enchanting land, dreams were not just the images that visited us as we slept. They were delicate, glowing orbs that floated above the trees, their colors and patterns telling stories of joy, hope, and adventure. Elara, with her sparkling eyes and heart full of curiosity, had always been fascinated by these dreams. She would spend her evenings lying in the soft grass, watching as dreams drifted above her, their soft melodies like a lullaby for her soul. One evening, Nana continued, Elara noticed a dream unlike any she had ever seen. It was a dream that glowed with a brilliant, silvery light, and it sang a melody that seemed to call to her. It was a dream catcher's lullaby. Lily's eyelids grew heavy as Nana's words washed over her like a gentle wave. She could almost hear the sweet melody of the dreamcatcher's lullaby in her mind. Elara decided to follow this special dream, Nana whispered. She followed it deep into the heart of the forest where the trees whispered secrets and the fireflies danced in the night. There, she discovered a magical glade, bathed in the soft light of the dream, and in the center of it all hung a wondrous creation, the dream catcher. Nana's voice was a lullaby itself, a soothing rhythm that carried Lily into the heart of the story. She could picture Elara in that enchanted glade, surrounded by the soft glow of dreams and the gentle rustle of leaves. The dream catcher was a magnificent creation, Nana continued. It was woven from the finest threads of moonlight and stardust, and its intricate patterns shimmered like spider webs glistening with dew. From its center hung a single, radiant dream, the dream catcher's lullaby. As Nana described the dream catcher, Lily's eyelids grew heavier still, 
and she felt herself drifting into a world of dreams was in the story. Elara approached the dream catcher with a heart full of wonder, Nana whispered. She reached out to touch the silvery dream, and as her fingers brushed its surface, she felt a surge of warmth and comfort. It was as if the dream itself had wrapped its gentle arms around her. Lily's breathing became slow and rhythmic, mirroring the calmness of the forest in Nana's tail. From that day forward, Nana said, Elara became the guardian of the dream catcher. She would visit the glade every evening, listening to the dream catcher's lullaby and sharing her own dreams with the magical creation. The dream catcher, in turn, would weave those dreams into its delicate patterns, creating a tapestry of hope and joy. Lily was now deep in the world of dreams, her own thoughts mingling with the story as she surrendered to the soothing embrace of Nana's voice. Time passed, my dear, Nana whispered, and Elara grew old, but her heart remained as young as ever. And so, on one magical evening, as she listened to the dream catcher's lullaby, she closed her eyes and surrendered to a dream of her own, a dream of dancing among the stars and becoming one with the very sky. As Nana's voice faded into the quiet of the night, Lily had drifted into a peaceful slumber. In her dreams, she danced among the stars, just as Elara had feeling the soft glow of dreams wrap around her like a warm, comforting blanket. And so, beneath the starry sky and the watchful eyes of the forest, Lily slept, her dreams filled with the magic of the dream catcher's lullaby and the gentle, soothing voice of Nana, the keeper of stories and dreams. Moral of the story, dreams have the power to transport us to magical realms where the boundaries of reality blur and our hearts find solace and wonder. Just as Elara cherished and nurtured the dreams she discovered, we too should embrace the beauty of our dreams, both while we're awake and as we slumber. The dream catcher's lullaby reminds us that dreams are precious gifts that offer us hope, comfort, and a connection to the enchanting world of the imagination. So, let your dreams take flight, for in them, you may discover the magic that resides within your own heart. Thanks for listening to my story. I'll tell you another story next time. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.